The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 20th, the uh, magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I can make that one little two by four ship well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. You can go ahead and send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Magnificent Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right, I got all the U.S. indices trading lower. The Dow's down 827 points. The S&P 100, Nasdaq 423, Russell 75, semis off 120. A good route to the downside. Spot volatility's up by 32 percent right now. She's trading at 2762. The XAE was off uh, about two bucks, while gold is up 12. Silver's down 13 pennies. Lights recruit is off a buck 65. The 30-year Treasury up up one and 17 30 seconds. Trading out at 165.22. Lead the charge dollar-wise to the upside you got Mirati Therapeutics up eight bucks four and a half percent Brooks Automation six bucks over six percent the Dessa Biotech four percent seventy percent ATF Pharmaceuticals three bucks thirteen percent and CGN Inc three percent two percentage points to the downside dollar-wise it is Amazon up 126 bucks three and six tenths percent Mercado Libre down 82 that's over four percent Shopify Shopify down nearly five percent or 71 Google's off 72 two and a half percent there Chipotle down 39 or a couple percent of course I want to take a look at what you want to look at no requests so far so let's just go take a look at the uh, I take that back we do have requests we're going to go to that request first this one's coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. Hector wants to take a look at at uh, da, 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 and Newmont Mining. So let me just get a, well, let's just do this. Let's do a couple of things. Let's get this going here, Newmont Mining, N-E-M. So let's get that on the white background charts. I'm going to go over, give me just a moment here, folks. You won't see this taking place on your screen, but I'm going to go to my eight panel chart here for uh, Hector, and I'm going to get the uh, Newmont uh, symbol in there. So as we take a look at, but first let's read the question. Newmont mining is looking like it still has uh, lots of momentum to the downside. We want to load up on Newmont mining for a good 30, 45 day pop to the top side. Newmont mining is your favorite gold miner. Do we wait until reversal candle or jump in right here, right now? So as we take a look at Newmont, I'd have to say you're jumping. You, if you were jumping in now, it, it's, it could be too early. And, uh, and the reason is, the first, it's at the low of the day. It's down below its prior set of swing points out here. There is a, an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Uh, let's see, was that passed? It doesn't matter whether it's passed with volume or not, but it was about 5.5 million shares. And when that was passed, it was with 8 million shares. So there's a confirmed one-to-one -one that could take you down into the 5103 area. Uh, price is below the bottom of its weekly profiles out here. It is below the center of its bearish structured monthly profile. Um, there, there's a possibility of support. I mean, I certainly see, I believe what you're looking at, Hector. And that is, folks, if we take a look at the trading day as an example, back on June the 1st, as price was moving down into this level, 51 million shares. Uh, shoot, you're pulling back today with only 5 million shares. Now, that low has not been tested. That low... Hector, that's again the trading session of June 1st is 52.33. 
So that'd be something to keep an eye on. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to shift over. There's nothing else really here in the black background charts for you and I to take a look at. So let's shift over and take a look at our eight panel screen out here. In our eight panel screen, we're really going to take a look at what's going on, well, for all those time frames, but certainly intraday. And intraday starts on the bottom right, and that's where we'll start. That's with the 15-minute time frame chart here. What I would share with you, Hector, is you'd need at least to see it close about 54.30 to suggest some kind of a um, further rally. Is that a bottom? I'd say, mm, don't know. 30-minute time frame chart, I don't have a bottoming, completed bottoming pattern out here, Bullish reversal candle, or this could create a, a TD9 count bottom. It could do that between now, let's say between 1 and 2.30. It has to have a lower low during that time period on those 30-minute bars, at least on just one of those 30-minute bars. 65-minute chart, no bottom signal. 130, no bottom signal. 195, no bottom signal. Daily time frame prices will be lower, doing less relative energy. So if you did get a bullish reversal candle there, that would be your signal of a completed pattern. And, uh, and then if price can clear the oscillator and change line, Hector, that's currently printing at 55.66. That would say it moved 57.09, 57.43, and then 58.44. Those last three were your battleground levels that price would, those were profile areas that price would need to contend with. Bar number seven on a weekly basis. If we expand Newmont, China, uh, Newmont Mining out uh, here, um, you know, uh, you, the next breakout area is at 38.25. And, and I don't have a signal to suggest that price is going to get down there. So we're looking at A to B equals CD, just to summarize it, in a 51 level. Uh, bar number seven, you could get a TD9 count bottom between tomorrow and Thursday. I believe that would be its uh, signal out there. The oscillator and change line changed colors recently. If we get a bottoming signal here, you should at least see a price move up to that uh, level. Um, let's look at the monthly chart out here. I don't have anything on the monthly chart to assist us with. So, Hector, I'm going to suggest that you don't load up the truck right now. You wait for some type of confirmation. I think you may be on to something. What do you mean, Steve-O? Well, let's go take a look at Goldilocks. Let's stay on this set of panels out here because if, if Hector was going to load up on Newmont Mining, he would also be saying that he has identified and spotted a bottom in gold because the two it's going to work better if the two are working in the same direction. So we've got gold that's trading up. It was like about eight, nine, ten bucks, eleven bucks, something like that a few minutes ago. And uh, if you take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, so we know that gold has an A to B equals CD to the downside. I'm going to get rid of uh, this set of lines out here. That's not the ones uh, I was looking at. It was these lines over here, these little blue lines. Remember, on this white background set of packages, I don't have the A to B equals CD tool built in. That's okay. So I just use some diagonal lines. You can do the same thing on your system. You just copy the first one and make sure you, you, you make the first one and copy that over and start, uh, start the uh, C to D point. So in this case here, we're more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. This could create a Gartley buy pattern. And the way that it creates a Gartley buy pattern is you would see some type of bullish reversal candle. Well, the bullish reversal candle the Western version is actually in right now, and that is a key reversal bar. So you've got your A to B equals CD. That helps us to say that the market or this specific instrument is extended, gold, and uh, the uh, prior day's low and high have been exceeded. As long as we see a green bar today, one penny above the open, that is a key reversal bar. So it's giving us a signal, Hector. Uh, but we'll get back to this break. Let's go take a look at those intraday time period charts and see if price has cleared those levels it needs to to confirm the potential bottom of a Gartley buy pattern inside of Goldilocks. Steve Roach with TFN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the gold contract. We've confirmed that on a daily, on the daily time frame, uh, chart number two in the upper right hand corner from the uh, right, uh, that we've got a key reversal session as we speak at 118 in the afternoon, assuming that that holds up at day's end. It will hold up as long as there is a, a close, one tick above today's open. That would be your key reversal bar. And that would confirm the uh, Gartley buy pattern. If we take a look, so if we're going to get the, a bottom, in anything or a top in anything. So in this case here, we're talking about a bottom. What we would look for is we look for key levels of resistance to fail. I'm going to start with the 30 minute time frame chart out here. And on the 30 minute time frame chart, although I don't have a bottoming uh, pattern per se out here, um, what we do see is that what price was able to do on the bounce here this morning this is uh, get up to the 1765 level. 1765 is a very key TD9 breakdown level. Now look, on a 30-minute basis, price did close above that area. It did at 11 o'clock this morning. But, you know, Stevie's got that two-bar confirmation uh, deal. We don't like those one-hit wonders. Not that we don't. Those are some great songs out there. It's just uh, they're never able to produce anything else. So we like two consecutive bars. Now, price found that level and tested and rejected it. But price also pulled back to test what? The oscillator and change line. So we're really in neutral territory here. But, Hector, if you did see two consecutive closes on a 30-minute basis above 1765.10, I could even understand your your idea of wanting to uh, get into Newmont Mining or some mining stocks out there uh, because that would certainly be the signal coming uh, from this. So I, I want to make sure that I, I give uh, Hector the proper analysis of what's going on inside the gold market in Newmont Mining. And that really means we probably should take a look at the GDX details. I know that uh, Mike wanted to take a look, I believe, at the GDX. And, and we, we are going to do that for sure. We might as well be thorough. But if we take a look at the 6120, the 240, and the five-hour time frame charts, now there you see roads momentum indicator signals all over the place. So that's a signal that buyers are trying to form a bottom. The question is, can they? Will they out here? Well, in the case, so, so another level to be watching is 1766. It's in, what did I say it was on the, uh, I think it was the same thing on the 30 minute, 1765, yeah. So 1766 is really going to be your nut. If price can close above that, what we should see at least is a further rally. Rally to where? Uh, the 1797, 1830, 1808, those would be the three target levels to be looking at. So 
you know what? I'll, I'll, we'll do J.P. Morgan in just a few minutes. Let me just, as long as we're in the gold area, the mining area, let me just uh, finish this off properly. And uh, so there's a question about silver as well. So whereas gold has a nice bottoming signal, silver does not. And I'm looking at the daily time frame. So if you take a look here, I'll just expand this chart out. And on the daily time frame, you can see price moving lower, doing less relative energy, only bar number seven. But here, what we need to see in silver, Mike, is some type of bullish reversal candle to be able to confirm that uh, bottom pattern out there. So silver is uh, now we I can see a couple of intraday bottoming signals out here, but nothing that has really taken off. Now, let's take a look at the uh, GDX. We'll go do that by taking a look at the uh, multi time Time frame charts out here and in the case of the GDX you know what you'd like to see is you'd like to see the index form a bottom then go take a look at the individual equity see which one have held up the best and maybe split your investment into those positions versus the actual GDX but if you're looking if you're asking is there a bottom in GDX the answer is no if we got a bullish reversal candle then the answer would be yes so to finish this off we'll do it this way and this way means with the right way and this means, oh, that's if I do have it open. Because if I don't have it open, it'll take too, too much time to populate. Oh, Stevie has it open. Okay. So everything in life, folks, it's happening for us, not to us. Now, let's change the uh, charts out here. Not that those screens, uh, that screen that you were looking at was not that. Those were, those were instruments inside the GDX. But this is the more weighted side of the GDX. And so if you're going to see the ETF itself, uh, the sector turn, we should see it happen here. So Newmont Mining, we've already covered that with Hector. We don't see a bottom there. We have inside of Rand Gold, G-O-L-D, the ticker, Severic Gold, that is, uh, the ticker symbol out here. This is going to be bar number eight today. We know that bottoms can form on bar number eight of a TD9 count. And we have a key reversal session. So that confirms the Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, as long as it has one tick, oh, uh, close one tick higher than the open. So that looks good. So, Hector, I'd rather see you invest in GOLD than NEM at this stage. Franco Nevada has a confirmed Roads Mintum indicator bottom with its key reversal bar. So I'd throw that out there as another potential. Um, you know, we're looking for stocks here, going through the GDX, looking for anything that's identified a bottom. Ignico Eagle is in the bar following bar number nine. What we love about the TD9 count is we'll know tomorrow and or the next day, whether or not this is the uh, this is a bottom for it because if price closes below today's low, whatever that is, that says no more momentum moves to the uh, downside out there. So uh, so that's what we're looking at. We take a look at the entire metals market. The only thing that we need to uh, perhaps do the final piece of the puzzle would be take a look at the U.S. dollar index. So why don't we do that just to finish this off? The PS de resistance. Does Stevie have that open? He does. So let's go change the uh, charts out here. Now we take a look at the U.S. dollar index. And one of the reasons to take a look at this chart here is because if I just simply provided you with the read on the U.S. dollar index, we're going to miss a lot. And what I mean about that is these are the currency pairs that make up the U.S. dollar index. The, US, the euro is the heaviest weighted. 57% uh, I believe, but don't hold me to that percentage, but it's somewhere around 57%. Now, we can see that the euro top with a TD9 count pattern. Today is going to be bar number nine of a TD9 count. When the top, it was the bar following bar number nine. The breakout level is 1.1692. So the euro is sending a signal to us that it should, not a guarantee that it will, but it does have the bottoming patterns that are out there. Either today or tomorrow, we should see a bottom there. And if that forms above that 116 level, that's a strong uh, TD9 count a bottoming signal. We don't have a TD9 count topping signal in the U.S. dollar index, the inverse of that, because it's made up of these other currency pairs. But it's certainly the U.S. dollar index, because of the weighting inside the euro, would be driven. <laughs> Steve, you just, you just gave me a whole sh blank load. Yeah, you got it. Blank load of information. So summarize it for me. Okay. You've got the gold contract that right now has is confirming a Gartley buy pattern, a buy the D point. You have the euro that's confirming a TD9 count out here, suggesting that it should move higher and the U.S. dollar index would pull uh, back uh, lower out there. And so that is what we're looking at. And we have a few instruments inside the GDX that have also generated those bottoming signals. So that's what we're looking at out here. We'll have more information certainly uh, tomorrow. Of course, gee, Steve-O, I, I, I know you needed me to tell you we'll have more information tomorrow. Shoot, we'll have more information in about 30 seconds from now. 
But in any event, that would be the summary as we take a look. Gold, silver, not providing us with great signals, or maybe it is. Maybe it's saying, hey, yeah, be careful in that mining sector. I don't know. It just doesn't have the bottoming signal that you and I uh, would be looking for. So we got a caller on the line, and it's Brent in California. Let's go to Brent real quickly before we go to break. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Very good. So we're going to talk about the spot volatility index uh, when we come back to this break. Uh, tell us what you're looking at and how I can best help you. I had Friday being a day where it's a greater than 10 percent rate of change. Yes. And then, of course, today is you know, quite a bit more than that. We're like 30 some percent. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on what that might pretend for the market you know, in, in your work. So that's what Perfect. I thought was my question. Excellent. So we're going to go answer that question for Brent and you as well as soon as we get back from this break in just about three minutes. So stick with us, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. We're on the line with uh, Brent in Martinez, California. We're going to take a look at the uh, spot volatility, or at least that will be one of the instruments that we take a look at. And uh, as Brent noticed on Friday, the spot volatility had a one-day rate of change as we went into the close by 11.34%. Typically, when we have in, in other, so what's noted on this chart here, Brent and, and everybody else, the blue arrows are identifying one-day rates of change above plus 10%. And when we get that, we typically see a bouncer bottom on the very next session. It's typically, years ago, it used to be within 48 hours, two days. Um, but uh, over the last couple of years, it's been uh, it's typically been one day. In this case here, clearly not uh, one day out there. So we've, we've set that up as the, um, I guess, is the overview. And uh, anything more specific, uh, Brent, before I, you know, segue into something else here with regard to the spot volatility, but any anything else, you know, specifically, maybe what is your question about the spot volatility index today? I just want to know if there's anything in your work that, because we have had this, you know, second day that is, you know, yes. exceeding it by quite a, a large margin. If there's been anything that, that you know, is transpired when that happens, typically. Sure. So if we take a look at what the ES Mini is doing, it's testing the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 43.12, and we've hit a low today of 43.12.50. It really was 43.12. Bottom of the weekly is really 43.12.50 as well. It says 40 cents on my screen, but it doesn't trade to that level. So there's a level of support that has held. Assuming that uh, there's not a gigantic rally and we get a one-day rate of change in the spot politics, which right now is about, what, 28%, uh, as long as it stays above 10%, we still would expect and anticipate some kind of rally. Now, what we like to do is we like to see a level of support, daily, weekly, monthly type of support being hit at the same time that the intraday charts are showing us some type of signal for a bottom. So let's switch over to those charts, Brent. No, and the bottom I'm referring to, folks, would be inside the ES Mini. So we're going to switch over to those charts, and you're going to see this is our quad chart. The upper left-hand side is the monthly chart. Its level of support, by the way, would be 42.30. So if Brent price does not hold 43.12, for whatever the reason, I would expect price to make its way to the 42.30 level. And that's the weekly oscillator and change line. On a weekly basis, if 43.20 did not hold, then the weekly chart would be signaling 41.26. Obviously, if it's going to get back there, price is going to close below this 43.12 level. And on the daily time frame, so this is if price closes below this uh, for the bottom of its weekly profile, folks. The daily then says, so these red horizontal lines going across our screen, 44.26, 43.55, those are breakout areas. Typically, when you get below one breakout level, you go to the next. So this could be signaling to us a move to the 41.96. Now, I, th I know I'm throwing out different numbers to you, uh, uh, but th that's because we're looking at different time frame charts, and each chart is going to have a different message. The message as an example for the 30-minute time frame chart right now is that it is attempted, as it has many times during the overnight session, during the early morning hours, to try to form bottoms. Several roads went to indicator signals that have formed. There was a TD9 count that formed at 6.30 this morning, uh, but price never was able to clear resistance levels. Resistance would have been at about the 43.84 and certainly 43.93 level out here. So now we've got as of 1 o'clock, we have a Rhodesmentum, another Rhodesmentum indicator bottom signal with a candle that you like to see, which is a bullish hammer candle. So as price is pulling back to that weekly level of support, the intraday chart or the 30-minute chart is doing what it's supposed to, which is show us that it's trying to form a bottom. However, what's going to be that confirmation? Well, we're only at 43.23 right now, another 40 points higher. That's a pretty big move out there. Uh, two grand, uh, 40 points higher is where price would need to close above Brent. That's at 43.67 to suggest that we may have a change in trend uh, and some real bounce unfolding. A move above, and the target would be 43.93. Now, whether or not price can get over that target or not, I don't know. But the first level, if for anybody that is an aggressive style trader, the first level that you've got to see at least one close, and I would say two closes above, would be that oscillator and change line. I mean, Brett, look at how this has really contained most of the rallies, not all of the rallies. And that's why I also throw out here what we can see is we haven't seen levels of resistance fail in uh, quite some time. We haven't seen levels of resistance fail uh, since uh, 8.30 on Friday morning. Otherwise, and I'm really referring to the tops of these profiles, and that's why that 43.67 level. So, Brent, before I take a look at any other charts, because I know that was a mouthful out there, 
Um, any questions so far? No, it's very helpful, Steve, and it, it shows it pretty clearly what's been happening. So I appreciate that. Okay, perfect. So at the same time, the 30-minute chart is, is trying to form a bottom, hasn't confirmed that to us yet in any inkling. Uh, the two-hour chart is in bar number eight of a TD9 count. The four-hour chart is forming bar number nine of a, a TD9 count. This bar here in the 240 completes at 2 p.m. Uh, I mean, wait, wait, wait. I could, have, I could have that wrong. Let me just make sure. Let me give out. Uh, yeah, 2 p.m. So that bar, so we're going to have a TD9 count pattern on the 240-minute uh, chart. A lower low can form the bar following that. We're going to have bar number eight, which can be the bottom on a 120-minute time frame chart. And I don't have any other intraday signals. So three of the five that we look at are signaling to us they're certainly making that attempt. But uh, I would wait for the 30-minute chart. The first place I'd like to see it close above is 43.27. Then it'll be above 43.42. And then the real work will be cut out for it, Brent, and that's between 43.58 and 43.67 because that's the current profile that exists, and that's a bearish structured profile. So hmm, how about that? <laughs> that's very helpful, Steve. I, just, I, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, is was this enough of a washout here that, I mean, it looked like we can't at least get a bounce out of it. And I just didn't know if maybe you had other stuff. I know you've looked at like the advanced decline line on certain, I think it's on the NYA or whatever, there's certain things you look at that give it indicators that maybe things have gotten, you know, if there's enough of a little panic in the market that it might set up a bounce. Absolutely. So, so it's an excellent point. So, uh, so Brent is helping us kind of follow along step by step to, you know, just to give us an overview of the markets, because I know it's easy for us to look at the market action, see that right now today prices are down, you know, two to three percent out there and just assume it's just going to continue to be a whitewash to the downside. And it may be, but it would have to violate uh, the patterns that Brent identified, which was, hey, what's the advanced decline oscillator doing for the New York Stock Exchange? And that is the chart that we're looking at right now. And folks, if you find, if you do track this, you can do it on your own if you've got the advanced decline data. The oscillator, which is panel number two, is nothing more than taking the advanced decline line day by day data and taking a look at the difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average. Now, when that tool, that indicator, that ratio gets down below minus 150, that's when the New York Stock Exchange gets into the oversold level. Two, minus 250 is in the extreme area. And if we go take, and right now we're at minus 186. We don't know what the end of day reading will be, but let's assume this is the end of day. And then let's just go back and take a look at other time periods when price has gotten below this area. So this could be a healthy bounce. So that's why I'm paying attention to the ES Mini out here and looking for those bottom signals. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really important. And can't price take out resistance? Why could this turn out to be a very healthy bounce? Well, because it has in the past. So the last bottom that we had and price gets below the minus 150 advanced decline oscillator reading was back on August 19th. That was a bottom. We get back from this break here. We'll stay on with Brent. We'll go back. We'll continue looking at this. For example, July 19th. That had gotten down to minus 295. That was a nice bottom. Remember, I think we really have a consolidation pattern here, folks, that is underway inside the market. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few with Brent in California. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at the New York Stock Exchange. We're really focused on the advanced decline oscillator, and that reading is down below the minus 150 level. So it's in the extreme oversold. And, Brent, how I put this together is I make myself aware of where that reading is at to then say, okay, what kind of bottoming signals do we have on the uh, intraday charts in the uh, futures contracts? Because that would really then be the signal that, okay, we're getting ready to have some type of bounce or bottom uh, pattern in there. And so I know you don't have, or likely don't have any questions about this so i'm going to just quickly move over and just to finish this off here uh with you is take a look at what's going on on the four 30 minute time frame charts for the equity future contract so we saw the es mini you know formed a uh, a bullish hammer candle we can see price testing that important oscillator and change line level you've got a hammer candle down below on the dow that's a could that's generating roads momentum indicator signal price got to close above 33731 the russell 2000 is already doing its magic forms a roads momentum indicator signal the current bar which closes in another uh, 17 minutes is already above the oscillator and change line if price can get above 21.7040 that should take price to the 21.83 to 21.90 area and above that 22.07 would be the uh, level and inside the NQ I don't have a bullish reversal uh, candle uh, just yet so three of the four are giving us their te they're telling us the attempts of trying to form the bottom but that's how I put it together with all those tools so uh, what uh, other questions maybe have I uh, created in your mind uh, that's great Steve I really appreciate it I guess I'm just of the mind that I'm always looking for potential opportunities. You know, it's easy yes. to look at the shiny object, which is the market being down hard. I get that, but there's, you know, at the same time, I like to look at the opposite side of the trade and see if there's something that might present itself. And I think you've done a good job of going through what I've been looking at myself. And, you know, we'll perfect. see. There's some potential there at, at this okay. point. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, perfect, perfect. Hey, Brent, always good to speak to you. Thank you very much for calling in, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. As always, I really appreciate your help. Just have a great week and you take care. You bet. You bet. So we had a couple other questions that had come in early on. One was to take a look at uh, J.P. Morgan. So let me get uh, J.P. So here with regard to J.P. Morgan, and I don't I think the question was just to take a look at it. So here's what we know. J.P. Morgan gapping down big on the daily time frame. Where's it gapping down into? We take a look at the weekly chart into the support area. The support area for J.P. Morgan is between 148 63 and 151.56. If that level fails, price will go target the 142 
77 level. Now, all of that interpretation was based upon the uh, ta its TAS market profiles. Let me go take a look at the white background charts here. We'll pull over JP Morgan on the daily time frame. That's where we'll begin. As we look at it, uh, price is also pulling back into a breakout level of 150.11. I don't know how strong that breakout area is, but I don't see a sign of a bottom inside of JP Morgan as we speak just yet on the weekly basis out here. What do we have? No charts. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Um, sorry, folks, that, that's that's the old Stevie. Yeah, you're not really good at multitasking. Here are the charts. Let me put the daily back up. Oh, so you didn't even see any of the charts. OK, back here. Let's start off where we where we began. And that is the white background chart. So that way everybody can see JP Morgan. So down below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile, now into the bearish structured area, the 148 to 151 a level out here. So when I say there was no, I don't see a bottom. Look, price is pulling back into a strong support area, but I don't have a bottoming signal on that daily time frame chart that we were looking at. In essence, that's what I meant. That doesn't mean that price can't find support here. On a weekly chart, there is no other signal. You can see how that oscillator and change line has been a key level of resistance. That's at 162.15. Monthly time frame chart for JP Morgan, as long as price remains above 149.30, that's its oscillator and change line. Its overall signal there is somewhat neutral, has an existing top, but price hasn't broken that key level of support. Finally, on a 30 minute time frame chart, I don't have any kind of a bottoming signal. So, JP Morgan, I no bottom signal, but it could find a bottom because price is pulling back in that weekly level of support. So watch that 148.63 level. That's the important real key area. That's that bottom of that uh, profile. Uh, inside the Tiger's Den, there might have been another request. Let me see here. I think it was to take a look at this instrument. If my if my memory serves me right, and the instrument is ABUS. Now ABUS. I don't even know what it is. I don't need to know what it is. You can see the real resistance level for it is at $4.75. And that's on the monthly chart. That's its TD9 breakdown level. And if price can close above that, I mean close above it, not trade above it, that is a signal of a change in trend for that time frame, for the monthly time frame. On the uh, weekly time frame chart, I don't have much here. On the daily, you know, it looks like it got to a wave number seven out there, letter G. But price just pulled back and test the oscillator and change line. The daily on ABU. Oh, you're not seeing the chart. God, Steve. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. Here we go. So, oops. Get this chart here back here. So you'll see the you'll see the monthly here in, in a moment. That's on your left side, left hand side, the 475 area. And uh, by the way, uh, thank you, uh, Dan, for letting me know. Weekly chart, not a whole lot out here. Daily time frame. Just notice how prices pull back, and, and you're into the bullish structure daily profile. Price tests the green oscillator and change line. So Dan, this remains bullish. 467 is your resistance point there in the daily. That is the top of its daily profile out here. And I don't really see anything else. So I hope that that provides you with the information. You see J.P. Morgan. Oh, uh, maybe before you did. Okay, yeah, got it, got it. But anyways, so we should be all set right now. And uh, thanks for your uh, patience there. So I think I've gotten to most everything in the uh, Tiger's Den. Uh, yeah, at the update, we'll look at the uh, sectors in the S&P 500 bill. Absolutely. So let me go to a couple of questions that have come in here by email. First one coming in from Eddie in uh, Boca. Can you please go over the major indices as my request today, really hoping for a bounce based on the rate of change. So I've really covered that area out there for Eddie about the rate of change, really the S&P, New York Stock Exchange that Brent and I did. The next question here coming in from uh, JT. JT says, one more question, is NAT, NAT, Nordic American Tankers, a buy at the current price? So let's uh, put Nordic American Tankers in on these charts here. That way Stevie doesn't change screens and starts talking and not realizing I'm looking at one thing and you're looking at something else. So let's let this populate here. It'll take just a moment to do so because we've got so many things running. And again, the question here is Nordic American Tankers a buy. And so based upon the pullback today, what we can see is price is at the bottom of its, uh, its bullish structure daily profile. Now, no bottom signal out here. Let me just make sure I hit my repopulate button. Yeah, I've hit it. So it's a it. Uh, so with regard to a bottom signal, you had the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that was back here that was confirmed for you back on August 20th. Makes an A to B equal C D to the upside. Uh, that's a sell the D point because of that bearish engulfing candle session and price is pulling back to support. So J T, if you're asking me is price at support, the answer is yes. And that's support on the daily time frame. If you're asking me, as price is pulled back to the daily time frame support level, do I see some type of intraday bottom signal out here, like on a 30-minute chart? Well, the answer to that question is yes. 
what we have out here is a TD9 count pattern. Now, what price needs to do to give you the signal that there should be more rally, and more rally means at least a $2.39, you need to see a close above $2.30. That is the top of this 30 minute profile. So absolutely, you've got price pulling back to support. You have a 30 minute uh, bottom signal here. What you don't have is you don't know, you don't have the knowledge to know whether or not these buyers can take out the resistance of those sellers that are at the top of that profile, $2.30. So JT, thanks for waiting. I hope that that helps you out. The next question coming in here from Rich. Rich says, could you please provide an analysis of the SMH? So uh, we can and we will. And we'll do that when we get back from this break. And we'll use the same set of screens out here. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Right now, we've got the Dow down, uh, let's see how many points. We're down 750. The S&P's off 95. NASDAQ 100, 383 for the downside. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at the uh, SMHs here, the Semiconductor uh, ETF. We're doing this for Rich. He's a long-term 
holder. And his real question is, hey, you know, at what level do I add to my positions or is there a level where I jettison the positions out here? Well, if you look at the monthly time frame, uh, you are going to form or it looks like it may form bar number eight of a TD9 cup. But price is above that oscillator and change line. That's a 256.30. Price has got to close below that to say that there may be some kind of problems out here. The, that's the monthly chart. The weekly chart says price has to close below 248.03. That's the bottom of its uh, current profile. We're not there yet. We're only at 262. No reason to jettison. The daily chart has a breakout level at 252.01. It's already been tested once. Uh, that was back in the uh, late part of uh, August out here. That led to its rally. Uh, so uh, those are the levels. 252 area, 248.03, 256.30. That's really the range. Now, of course, what you'd like to see, Rich, is on the shorter term time frames, we'd like to see some bottoming signals. Now, as we speak right now, you've got one on the 30 minute chart out here. You have a confirmed roads momentum indicator signal. And the SMH should bounce to at least a 263.96 level. That's its red oscillator and change line for the 30 minute time frame. I know that you also were asking about XB, uh, XBI out here. So let's uh, finish that off by taking a look at the uh, black background screens out here and just give you the profile levels. I don't have enough time to populate everything. But XBI right now, this is the S&P uh, Spider Series Biotech ETF. It's just consolidating with inside its daily and its weekly profiles out there. So the key level of support to be watching here, Rich, is going to be 127.47. One, that's a daily. And 122.71, that is on the weekly profile. Those would be the levels that you would need to see price breach close below, really. Um, and the level that it really would need to close below will be the trading session from the week of May 10th. And that low is 118.23. There's a close below that, Rich. You could see an A to B equals CD to the downside. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. You folks have a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Thanks again for joining us. Take care.